<laughs> can't, Second of the day. <laughs> can't help it. Welcome to today's episode of Your Daily Scrum. I'm professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. That's professional scrum trainer Todd Miller. We're a little excited today. Today is the launch of the Agile for Humans community. Mm -hmm. We're going to put a link in the description. We're not going to spend too much time there, but it is a rapidly growing community of Scrum and Kanban and Agile practitioners where we get together, we talk about topics, we share videos, we share ideas. There's some paid content and self-paced courses and all sorts of stuff in there as well. It's just super exciting. And uh, we hope you check it out. So community.agileforhumans.com is how you get there. Link is in the notes. Like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Tell all your friends about the YouTube channel so that we get to 10,000 subs and we can do the merch. Merch. All right. There's all the intro stuff. That uh, that new community, Todd, is awesome. It keeps dinging <sighs> in the background. Wait. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. And kind of like what we've done with the with the community, right? I think this principle kind of fills in kind of nicely. It's a good it's a good, yep, there's a ding for another person joining. All right, we're trying to build yeah. projects around motivated individuals, give them the environment and support they need, and trust them to get the job done. Hmm. Pretty awesome, right? This is Agile principle number five. It, it's interesting. You know, every time we look at these principles, I feel like each principle has like a lot to unpack, right? Yeah. I mean, build projects around motivated individuals. Right. But like people being motivated to do it. And, you know, I that the motivation and um, really brings me back to thinking about what motivates people in the workplace. The work done by Daniel Pink, right, in the book Drive. Yep. Right. Where mastery, autonomy, purpose, those three things. So but, and that in and of itself is a is a is a really difficult thing in a lot of traditional organizations to do. Give people mastery, give people the opportunity for mastery, give them purpose and then give them um give them the autonomy to do the work without interference from really management right right yeah and so that's a huge part around building projects and products and these these teams around these motivated individuals so dan pink's work is awesome for that first sentence for the second part give them the environment and support they need right so let's pause there for a second Jeez, so I, yeah. I in our in our professional agile leadership essentials course which i'm the steward of and that todd I'm one of the stewards, and then Todd and I teach quite a bit. This is like our management mantra, right? Build the environments where teams can be successful. So show up in a way that is supportive of what they need. Get all of the organizational impediments out of the way. Support them when they're doing scary things. Support them when things can go bad. Give them the cover they need from the rest of the organization. Work with the rest of the organization to get the dependencies and all those things worked out, right? So that's our, our management mantra. And then trust that team to get the job done. Right. If we've hired a group of professionals, we don't need to micromanage them. We don't need to check in and like we don't need seagull management, the swoop and poop mm -hmm. type of management. We don't need to, to go in and check on them and crap all over the place and then swoop out. Trust them to get the job done. Right. Self-organization, mm -hmm. self-management, that autonomy that Todd mentioned, mm -hmm. super critical to this type of formula. Yeah, you know, and even circling back to things to really, I really think uh, uh, simplistic when I think of environment and support, because I've been in places where I'm like, it would be easier for me to code if we bought this plugin. And I'd be like, nope. And I'm like, but it would be easier. It would help me if we could buy back in the day, ReSharper was, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I have <laughs> fought, I fought the ReSharper battles too. Yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, Todd, I, actually, real quick, I actually had a pro, a developer come to me and say, Ryan, I can't get anyone to approve this. I didn't have the budget. I just handed him my credit card and said, buy it and bring my card back. Like, I, I just, I got sick of the arguments and the red tape, and it made their life better. And eventually we got that reimbursed and everyone else got a copy. But I mean, that was part of my job, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, yeah. I'm just thinking uh, I, I, that through and then it just something so, as simple as that, like environment and support such big words and to encompass all of that in this phrase and then and to put trust in there, like you were mentioning there. Um, that's 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 pretty uh, hard on a lot of organizations too, right? Um, thou shall not still rules in a lot of places and ra rather than rather than trusting people to do the best they can and believing that people how many times do we run across leadership that are like yeah but if we don't they won't yeah well this Yikes. is Todd, i think the principle that applies squarely to management and leadership 
right? This is what people will say, well, we don't see a manager in the scrum guide. Nonsense. Management's still needed. And this is how they can show up to help a scrum team prosper and do well. Build yeah. projects around motivated individuals, which means autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Create the environments, remove impediments, remove dependencies, and give the support where needed. Buy ReSharper if they need it. Yeah. And then trust people to do great work, right? And the framework, the Scrum framework, gives us the boundaries and constraints in which it is easier to provide that trust, mm -hmm. right? There's all there's all sorts of inspect and adapt events. The artifacts are there. They're made transparent by commitments. I, I think it just, it all blends together beautifully. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, it's end screen time. Be sure end to screen. like and subscribe. End screen, we should add our new community to this end screen. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. It's on our backlog. Uh, community.agileforhumans.com <laughs> along with the rest of the socials. Like and subscribe. Check out the videos below. They're pretty interesting. We hope you like them too. Uh, we need your comments and questions. Your comments and questions keep the videos flowing. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Even better yet, let's talk about this video in the community. So community.agileforhumans.com. We'll post this video up and we'll start chatting about it and see what you think. For Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forward, do some great things. We'll see you in the new community. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.